Installing Watch Linux is not complicated. I mean, it is not as complicated as it was a few years back, thanks to the Arch install script provided by the Arch Linux developers itself. It's still a command line based approach, but it makes installing Arch Linux a lot easier. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install Arch Linux. I'm installing it on a real computer, not in a virtual machine, and everything will be recorded through the camera, not the screen recording. I'm not going to show you how to create a live Linux USB because I believe if you are willing to install Arch Linux, you already know how to do that. And once you have that, let's see how you can install Arch Linux so easily. Let's begin. I'm going to use my Tuxedo notebook here and I plug it in the Arch Linux Live USB and then on your system press F2, F10, F12, whatever to go into the BIOS setting and then boot from the Live USB. My Tuxedo notebook is booting into Arch Linux Live environment now. If you can connect to an Ethernet wired netbolt do that if you have to connect with wi-fi you may still need some help to run the commands to connect to wi-fi because well to install arch linux you need to be connected to internet here i'll be connecting to wi-fi so i have to use this iwctl command and that may require some reference because it's not a very popular command and you might not remember all those options so first thing first, type IWCTL and then you will go into the IWCTL interface and then you list the devices, the network interface on your system. In my case, it's WLAN 0. So what I'll be doing is I'll be scanning the Wi-Fi networks for this particular interface. It will show you the list of available networks, so connect to one of them using the network name. And when you use the network name, of course you need to enter the password. And then you can exit the interface and verify that you are connected to internet by pinging some you know, famous websites. All right, so the system is now connected to wireless. This is important because you cannot install Arch Linux this way without internet. The next step is to run the script called Arch install. It will show you a list of things to configure. Some of them will be already configured. Some of them you have to configure them by pressing enter and then selecting the available options like you have to go and select a mirror from where you'll be downloading the Arch Linux files for that you could use your country or United States because uh, they have lots of servers and then the next is to check that you have correct keyboard layout and language set the most important part is the partitioning since I'll be installing Arch Linux as the only operating system on my computer, I'll go with the best effort default partition layout, which means that it will have a EFI partition and a root partition. I'll be selecting the disk, the hard disk where it will be installed, and then you have the choice of file system, and I'll be going with BTRFS. I won't go with the disk encryption. The bootloaders, there are several options. But I'll be going with the system deboot. That's okay. The next is swap, which is on. That is okay. The host name you can leave as it is, but I want it to be personalized, so I'll be using its force here. It's just the name of your computer, and you already know that. I won't be setting a root password here. Instead, I'll have a user account with sudo access. Here is the username, Vishek, and a password, which should be strong, of course and then it will ask if i want to use so 
course I have to so I confirm and exit and then you have to set a profile what kind of system it is for me it is a desktop so I'll go and check the desktop option it will show you a list of desktop environment to choose I chose GNOME that's my favorite yeah I said that I like it and you have also the option for installing graphic drivers and the login pages and stuff which is fine uh, the next is audio uh, you should select audio here uh, pipe wire or pulse audio whichever you prefer and then there is option for kernels you can go with the default or the LTS whichever you want the important part is to have a network configuration a use network manager otherwise you will not have Wi-Fi access later on and then uh, regular stuff like choose your time zone and automatic time sync there's option for uh, you know optional additional repository you can do it later after installing as well you could save the configuration or for future use or you just go with this installation so it will show what kind of configuration you have shows and then it asks you whether you want to continue and you continue and now this is just a waiting game depending upon the network speed you have and the mirror you chose it will download files of around i don't know 1 gb or something and it takes quite some time and on that particular day when i installed this uh, my network was uh, painfully slow so it took quite some time i'm going to just speed this entire process up so whatever time it takes and it will be like at the end of this the installation part is finished you shut down the computer take out the usb and go to your system again and wait for it so here you can see the arch linux is there takes a couple of seconds and voila that's the gdm login manager I'll just go connect with the Wi-Fi. This is why the network manager part was important. So connect to the internet and then you're good to go. See how easy it has become to install Arch Linux these days. And now if you follow this as it is, you too can proudly say that, oh, by the way, I use Arch Linux.